Good morning, Kingswood. I'm Joe Boudreau. And I'm Mason Brown. And welcome to Night Watch, your weekly source of what you should probably know. Let's jump in. Today, there will be a college rep visit from Lakes Region Community College taking place from 1 to 2 p.m. And on Thursday, November 7th, there will be another college rep visit from the University of Hartford also taking place from 1 to 2 p.m. Uh, are you or someone you know interested in film or television? Well, you're in luck because Wolf World Community Television is looking for people who would like to anchor or act for a monthly SNL style show. If you are interested in writing funny screenplays or and or would like to even potentially earn high school credit, then sign up and then sign up today. And congratulations to the Kingswood Athletes of the Week, Alyssa Bolteridge, Bolsteridge, and Caleb Russo. Alyssa Bolsteridge has always shown up to practice early, ready to assist, and never complains in the net or on the field. She always gives 100%. She has been a great teammate and friend to the team and has kept the girls' soccer team alive during their senior night and secured a win in a shutout in their 1-0 win against Co Brown. So good, good work, Alyssa. And for the boys, we have Caleb Russo. After injuries to other goalies, uh, Caleb stepped up and dominated inside the net, keeping the Knights alive during senior night. Despite the team not securing a win, Caleb made a number of great saves and did not allow a goal during the active play, only during two dead, dead ball set pieces. He should be proud of the way he played the individual, uh, the individual effort and he displayed the entire team, and especially the seniors are appreciative for Caleb for what he did for stepping up for the team. Congrats, Caleb. And now on to entertainment news. Hello, everyone. I'm Dan, and welcome back to another, hopefully not depressing, entertainment news. Because last week was about, you know, never mind. So. BlizzCon is coming. BlizzCon will feature a whole lot of fun games made by Blizzard, including Overwatch, Diablo, World of Warcraft, and apparent leaks suggest that we might be getting a second Fortnite game. This game is pretty much a really fun game, and mostly the story is very convoluted. It's mostly just shoot, 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 bullet, bullet, gun, all that stuff. But hopefully in the second game we'll get much more of the story. In the movie news, Rise of Skywalker rele released a new trailer during Monday Night Football. The only reason I would watch football is if something fun was happening for like movies and TV shows and stuff. Sorry, sports guy, but uh, it's what I do. So anyway, yep, that one showed up, revealing some very convoluted stuff, very, dis very mysterious. No one really knows what it is, but it's going to be an interesting movie. Anyway, on more insanely awesome news. Disney Plus has more TV shows that you can handle that you'd get excited for, including The Mandalorian. Pedro Pascal, from Game of Thrones fame, plays The Mandalorian, who um, is a bounty hunter, obviously. Taika Waititi and a whole lot of others are in this, and this takes place right after Return of the Jedi. It, this is being produced by, uh, the, by John Favreau, you might know him from Iron Man, Jungle Book, and the new Lion King movie. It's a very interesting, it looks like a movie, but it's actually a TV show. It'll come out November 12th along with Disney Plus. Along with The Mandalorian and Disney Plus comes a movie, I mean TV show. If you guys remember from way back in the Disney Channel original movie days, there was this movie called High School Musical, which got two other sequels. Well, now it's back as a TV series. It basically focuses on the school where High School Musical first started out and that school doing the musical based on their school. It's a fun little series which features a lot of drama and a lot of hilarious stuff and a basic filming kind of like um, The Office and Parks and Rec. It's a very interesting series and I will be one of those people to watch that show. Anyway, thank you guys for watching Entertainment News this week. Hopefully you guys are going to have a great day afterwards. My name's Dan. And if you'll be if you and you'll be seeing me a lot much later. Bye. I'm Joe Boudreau. And I'm Mason Brown. And thank you for tuning in to Night Watch. Have a good day.